Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm coming to you today with an energy forecast. It's been quite a while since I've been here with an energy forecast, largely because I felt that the energy was so topsy-turvy and also because it meant very different things for di different people at different stages in their lives. And I felt like it that it was difficult to find a kind of cohesive uh, line that ran through all of that and to be able to make sense uh, from it. So I usually come online and do a um, an energy forecast on the new moon as well as one on the full moon. But this time I decided to just give it a skip and I've missed the last couple of energy forecasts. However, today we did have a full moon. It's the 20th of September and we did have a full moon in the sign of Pisces. And it has been preceded with quite a build up of energy, which I'm sure many of you would have felt uh, a release today. You would have felt some kind of um, giving away or... Um, some kind of uh, cathartic energy that would have come up from this. So there has definitely been a build up to this full moon. And I would say that in the last couple of months, there has been some kind of build up as well leading to this point. So I also want to say that this full moon heralds the endings or rather the beginnings of the endings. And as we go along at the end of September and October, November, December, you're going to find that the energy is quite different and it's different for most people and it impacts you in many different ways. I think what's most uh, important about this energy right now is that for some of you, you would have felt culmination, a culmination in terms of a whole year's worth of events that might have been topsy-turvy, that might have been finding you flinging from one end to the other, not being able to make decisions, not being able to settle down, not being able to find a place to stay perhaps for some of you, not being able to find the right place uh, to travel to or not being able to find uh, the right um, place to work at. For those of you who've experienced that, what you're going to find is that now is the time where things kind of settle down and you have some kind of idea of how you're going to go forward. So it might have been something that occurred in this last week or something that's just about to occur. And you're going to find that there is some direction in your life. You can plan further. You can plan further for this, the rest of this year and even maybe a little bit for next year. And I think uh, for those of you who have had that experience, you're going to find that it's quite a relief. It's quite um, a lot easier for you to be where you are at right now than where you were a couple of months ago, because there was a certain degree of uncertainty that has now been resolved. I also think that if you have been experiencing some kind of illness, some kind of uh, difficulty in terms of your health, uh, what you might find is that from now onward, over the next two to three weeks, you're going to be healing. You're going to be finding yourself recovering, uh, having uh, come through whatever hardships that you might have had as far as your physical health is concerned, as well as your emotional well-being. So if you've been pretty hard hit in terms of your physical as well as emotional well-being, then you're going to find that as we enter October, those concerns really dissipate and almost disintegrate it's almost it's not even in the background anymore it kind of disappears from your life and I think that leaves a lot to be looked forward to so as far as world events are concerned you're going to find that there's a new release of energy and a new understanding a new uh, set of insights that come into the consciousness right now which has almost been hidden it's almost been in the shadow, um, it's been difficult to access that information. And now suddenly it comes to the fore. And if you're a psychic, if you're a healer, if you work in um, the healing arts and any form of the healing arts, you will find that in the next few weeks or months, you will come to understand these insights and you will come to be able to treat your patients with some of these insights and the in the background and this is going to help your progress. And this applies to uh, diseases that are quite current right now, as well as some diseases that you might have been searching for an answer for, but hadn't had the answer until now. So this is quite a victory for the world in terms of healing, in terms of improving the well-being of uh, fellow human beings, as well as other beings on this planet. Even if solutions are not found or... Um, 
cures are not found. What you are going to find is that there's an enlightenment or an understanding of the disease um, or of the cure, which allows you to come at the disease or the healing process from a different angle. And that's going to be quite enlightening. It is interesting also that in this week's uh, weekly oracle, the card enlightenment came up as well. And I find that nowadays the weekly oracle card guidance really speaks of the energy at the, at the time. And it's very interesting. I find that in the last three to four weeks, if you listen to the whole a weekly oracle, the option number one, two and three, that you would have actually uh, gotten a briefing of the energy as it stands uh, for everyone <laughs> at this time. And so that's been really interesting to see how that kind of finds it, its way out in the world, even though I haven't been doing the energy forecasts, that the information still kind of filters out to you. I think that for some what you're going to find is that there's going to be new restrictions, new lockdowns and uh, more kind of a closing in feeling that's going to be coming up in the next couple of months. But this is not going to apply to everyone everywhere. And I think that for those of you who are experiencing that, if you, for those of you who are feeling that you are still more um, locked down than you were previously, What's going to happen is that you're going to be able to use this time in a way that um, is quite productive for you. So you're going to be able to find that you're able to use this time to your benefit. It's not going to work against you, but rather you're going to work with it in order to produce something, in order to, to create something. I feel like there is an opportunity for turmoil. There is an opportunity for chaos, for difficulty, for um, a lot of the world events that are about to take place to actually filter down and disturb your consciousness. But I think that it's also quite possible for you not to let that uh, happen and for you to be able to protect your well-being, your sensibilities uh, without uh, the outside interferences that are not taking place or, or are likely to take place. For some of you, you're going to understand what you've been distracted about over the last years and how it has stolen your time, how it's stolen your your intellect and how it's actually worked uh, against you, how it's uh, left you worse off than you have been. And this is also going to be a great realization. And, you know, you're going to be able to forge your way forward without having these distractions. And I think that that's going to be one of the um, the 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 jewels of the of the time that's coming up for you right now. So ultimately, what we're heading towards in the next couple of months is a space of of great healing. I would say you can get um, kind of distracted or occupied with uh, certain world events and a, the portrayal of which which might be aimed at distressing you or keeping you hostage in some kind of way. But I think that it's important to rise above that and understand what is actually going on and what's making that uh, easier, what's making that process easier is this trickling down, this kind of uh, filtering down and trickling down of light energy and a spiritual kind of um, nuggets of information that's going to land and it's going to land really well and that's going to help you to be able to to understand better so you might not be able to make any decisions that um, that take you out of a particular space but that greater understanding is going to be able to come in and really help to empower you from within and it's an empowerment that's much needed because it's going to be eroding that hopelessness and that a desperation that has taken over our society. All right, so I'm going to leave it there for you. Uh, I hope that this, uh, this resonates. I hope that you can use this information to actually assist you as you go along and recognize that things are as, as bleak as they may seem, as dismal as they may seem for some, it is actually quite a an intensely spiritual time right now. And it's a time in which you can make 
a great headway in your lives if only you could hear what is happening, if only you could pay attention and listen quietly and hear what is actually happening. And there's going to be a lot of opportunity for that in the next few months. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm wishing you a blessed time ahead and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.